I'm back making another tier list video. The last time I did one of these, people were not too happy. I did childhood snacks, and I guess their favorite candy got put in the poop tier. So they left a dislike. Well, in this video, you should be pretty happy because we're doing Diary of a Wimpy Kid books tier list. Basically, I'm ranking the books again, but it's in a tier list form, so now it's different. This thing's got every book besides the Big Shot book that came out recently, and luckily it doesn't have the long haul the next chapter book, but that's probably for a good reason. Also, don't cry if I put your favorite book in the poop tier. You'll be fine. So, might as well start off with the original book, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I mean, there's really no other place to put it. Right there in the S tier. I mean, how can you put that anywhere else? It's the book that started it all. Everybody loves this book. So, of course, Wimpy Kid 1 is going in the S tier. All right, then we got the next book, Roderick Rules. And, um, well, I'm just happy to say S. Listen, I'm not gonna put every book in the S tier, but this one just deserves to be there. Roderick's probably the best character in the series, so, a whole book about them, it goes to the top. And yes, I do know about the new book that's coming out this year. It has something to do with Roderick, I guess. I don't know. I didn't really look too much into it, but you know I'll review it when it comes out, so you don't have to worry about that. Then we get to the last straw, and without a doubt, yeah, it's going in the S. I mean, this book is just a classic. These first three, you cannot tell me they're not good. I mean, they're just, they're great. If they weren't good, then the rest of the series would have never happened, and last straw goes in S. All right, now we move on to a very special book in the series for me, Dive Wimpy Kid Dog Days, and that's because it was the first book I ever read. Now with that in mind, if this book wasn't good, I would have never read the rest of the series. That should tell you something right there. So let's all say it together. It's going in the S tier. I mean, it just has to go there. It was so good. It made me read the rest of the series and it goes at the top. So, so far, all S. We got to keep going. All right, next up, Diver Wimpy Kid, the fifth one, The Ugly Truth. This one's a little bit different because it's about Greg getting older and stuff. Jeff Kenny never touched into that subject ever again because he's still in middle school. But, but for The Ugly Truth, I have to say it's one of my favorites now it took a long time for me to grow used to it like i used to not like it as much now i do so it's going at the s tier i'm really not trying to do this i'm not gonna put them all at s trust me just keep watching the video but these just have to go at the top they're just that good okay now we move on to the sixth book which is diver wimpy kid cabin fever and uh without further explanation really there doesn't need it it's going at s i always like the idea of him just being stuck in his house he can't go out snow and all just the things that happen in this are so just random but interesting to read and that's why it goes at the top okay now we move on to the first wimpy kid book that's not my favorite and that would be dive wimpy kid the third wheel this is the seventh book and i'm not the biggest fan of this book i always felt it was just very out of place in the series i don't really know how to describe it well actually i do but you have to watch my ranking videos but really to give you the main summary i just always felt like it was so out of character for greg and i just don't really like it that much i don't really know what to say third wheel for me will get a b it's not a terrible book but it's definitely one of my least favorites in the series actually forget that it's going in c now that i'm looking at the other ones it's a c tier but not poop all right number eight hard luck basically the first thing i think of when i think about this book is magic eight balls but other than that it's actually pretty good it's going at b not s not a but B, there you go, for Magic 8 Ball. Okay, now we move on to the ninth book, and that's Dive Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul. No, I'm not talking about the film. You guys know that by now. It's just the book. And as for the book, it's really not that bad because you can't see the live action version of them. That's what makes it great. I don't puke when I read it, so that's a plus right there. I'm gonna put The Long Haul at a B. It's not the most interesting book in the series. It's just like another road trip. That's why it goes at B. Now we have the 10th book, which no one talks about. Dive Wimpy Kid, old school, people forget even exists and I don't like that because old school is pretty good. You have Greg just doing his normal thing, going out in public and stuff, but I just like it. I don't know what it is really. I just felt it was like a new direction and I enjoy it. So Dive Wimpy Kid Old School goes in A. If you forgot about this book like most people have, give it another read because it's not too bad of a book. I enjoy it overall and it's actually one of my favorites. Not up there as like obviously the S tier level, but it's not bad at all and more people need to talk about it and not the next one. Dive Wimpy Kid Double Down, which is just so bad. It's getting doubled down into the poop. 
tier. That's right, this is the first Wimpy Kid book I put in the bottom tier, and I just don't like it. I feel like nothing happens in this book. It's all over the place. I've said this so many times in my other ranking videos, but if you didn't see those, that's really my real opinion on it. It's just sloppy all over the place. I don't find it interesting, and I forget it every time. I'm having a hard time even remember what this book is about because I don't ever like it or read it. For those two people out there where your favorite book is Double Down, I'm sorry, but... I just have to do it. All right, next up, we got Diver Wimpy Kid, The Getaway, which is basically a road trip, but they're in the air, and yeah, it's going at sea. Now we got Diver Wimpy Kid, The Meltdown, which I enjoy. Basically, it's just about snow, but this time, instead of cabin fever, he's in the snow. So for that reason, I'm putting it at B. Nothing crazy, nothing over the top, just a good read. But hey, I mean, that's good enough. Why do you need something crazy going on every book? So if Meltdown's the calm one, then we got the over the top one with Diver Wimpy Kid, The Wrecking Ball. Nothing makes sense in this. I'm not a fan of it. I'm putting it at poop. In the past, I put it higher, but every year it goes lower and lower, and now it's just one of my least favorite. All right, then we have Dive a Wimpy Kid, The Deep End. It's another road trip, and I don't like that at all, so it's going at C. We're done with the main series. I might as well say this here. If there was Big Shot on this list, I'd put it up here. Anyway, now we move on to the other Wimpy Kid books that aren't part of the main series. First up, we got Dive a Wimpy Kid, The Do It Yourself. I mean, this one's kind of hard to rank because it's it's like you write the book yourself, but based on what's in there, the idea of just writing your own Wimpy Kid book is cool enough, and it got me one of my most popular videos, so for that reason, it's going at A. All right, now we move on to the Rally Trilogy. So the first up, we got Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid. This one I hated on a lot when it first came out, but now I'm actually liking it a lot more, so for that reason, I'm putting it at B. I was too harsh on it the first time, but I wasn't too harsh on its sequel, The Awesome Friendly Adventure. Honestly, it's going at poop. You get all these new people, it's just another adventure. It reuses the same joke over and over. Not a fan. And that leaves us to our last Wimpy Kid book, Dive Wimpy Kid Spooky Stories. And I'm going to put that at B as well. 